So, uh, one topic that is of uh, great interest to, to me and many others, uh, very exciting, is about looking at this, the students uh, as change agents. And when we talk about students here, we're talking about students at all levels, undergraduate and graduate students, because they are going to be the future uh, leaders in these areas. Uh, we consider them uh, extremely important. This concept of change uh, agents really involves students participating in research. That's the example I want to illustrate. The, 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 the norm, the old um, paradigm was a professor designs a study and ask the student to go and carry it out, either in the laboratory or in the field. The new uh, horizon or paradigm is to have a student part of, be part of the process, but not only be part of the process, but be a, a key person in that process. Let's illustrate this using a field-based research where a student, you know, the project is going to be conducted with a group of farmers. Students, uh, in this case, participate by going to the field initially, doing what we call a needs assessment and find out what that community, the problems in that community, that needs answers. It's better if they go with their professors. Student comes back, sits with the professors and the advisors, say these are the major questions in this community. And then a scientific question is posed. Studies designed, with specific hypothesis, and the students saw a part of this. The study then is conducted and led by the student. The student goes in the field, collects the data, relevant data and material, and leads the analysis of this uh, work and produces some outcomes. And the, the outcomes that are of importance are those that actually can help both the community, in, term, in, in this case, terms of the farmers, but also helps the, uh, the university and the student himself. If I could use the example of the AgShare project that we conducted in McCurry, the outcome that were produced we are simplified, we are edited, and materials were sent to the farmers, presented to the farmers, the findings including recommendations. Second, these materials were then brought to the, to the university and they were put into teaching modules to improve the teaching of the of, uh, substance material in that area. So this outcome helped to improve the teaching of the class, the classes, because they had relevant material that uh, the students collected. These materials were also then put in uh, OER uh, website for other universities to get access to them. That's creating open uh, education res uh, resources, which is extremely important uh, for developing countries, uh, particularly, but I guess for every uh, university to share the material in an open uh, resource mode. Third, the student material that student collected 
become part of student's thesis or dissertation. So here we have three uses, but the fulcrum or the anchor of all of these, the manager of all these, uh, the response of generating all of these uh, outcomes is really the student. So the student here is being looked at as an agent of change, is changing the way the practice of, of, of different management practices on these farms by virtue of the, the, the work and the recommendations. But he also, uh, the student, is changing the way the courses at the university will be taught. Not at just at that initial university, but other universities uh, globally that enters in that area, in that uh, they were created uh, a battery collection of good uh, samples, good examples, good cases material that could be used relevant to the countries instead of using just textbook material. And finally, the students uh, with rigorous hypothesis driven uh, research. Uh, the student then is changing the, the way we, our understanding of the problem that uh, was actually identified in those communities and then providing uh, recommendations for change in those, uh, uh, to solve those problems. So clearly here the student is, uh, is what we call the design agent of change because he's been able to change all the way from the university uh, usage uh, or teaching to the way the scientific community will look at this question by his students' publication, but also by the, uh, the fact that the farmers' uh, solutions will be addressed differently uh, based on the recommendation that, uh, following that research. So the student in this case clearly uh, is, this, is the agent of change. And this is a new uh, way of looking at research. It's a translational, and it's, um, it, it, it helps the, the business and the management. And, and we, we call this in another way of looking at it, that if you're going to do development, this is what we call evidence-based uh, development. The student provides that evidence for any investment, whether in manpower or controlling disease or, or, what, or what, what have you, uh, based on the findings. And this is, uh, in my, my estimation, this is going to grow and going to be the norm for, for doing research using uh, students as agents of change.